Hi beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bridget. Before I start, guys, if you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have not yet clicked on the bell button, please click so that next time I post a video like this one, you're not going to miss it. So actually in this video, I am doing a question and answer. I have a few questions on YouTube. I have not yet answered them. So I have the questions with me here and I'm going to be reading them out as as I speak about them and actually most of them they are about either house building or the voluntary social year program in Germany so the question that I have first it's about applying for an house building yeah and an house building for those who do not know it's a training program that is offered in Germany like you work and go to school at the same time and this program it's usually sponsored by the government most of the time. So without further ado, let me begin. So um, this person is from India. I have my bachelor's in India. It was not job oriented. So I don't have school leaving certificate as my college has kept it, but I have college leaving certificate will i be eligible for applying in any of the ausbildung courses in germany i am confused please tell me further steps in that case i'm interested in doing ausbildung now okay so the requirements of doing an ausbildung is actually 12 years of education i mean you need a high school certificate that's very important and also, there are some Ausbildung programs that require you to have prior experience, but some do not. When you are applying for an Ausbildung, you definitely need to know which Ausbildung you want to do. So let's say you want to do the Pflegefachfrau Ausbildung. So you need a place of work and you also need a school. But most of the time, the, the place of work already has a school. Yeah, so... Th those are two entities, school and the place of work. Then um, you need to also find out what institution do you want to work with. Or maybe if you do not know, then you need to do research and see what institutions are available. And then when you're applying for the Ausbildung, you need to write a motivation letter in German explaining why you would like to do that Ausbildung. You also need a CV. You can make your CV using the website that I'm giving above there. It's lebenslauf.com. Someone asked me a very interesting question, and that is what Ausbildungs can we do in schools with disabled children? So this person is asking, like, where can I work? Like, what kind of Ausbildung can I do in order for me to work in a school with disabled children? Nice question. So the Ausbildung that deals with people with disabilities, I know, I mean, uh, people, children, like everyone in general, like uh, from when someone is still in the womb, until you die, like the whole process of a human being from like the whole cycle. And that is Heil Etzingspflege. With this Ausbildung, you learn like everything, like about a normal person and you learn about a disabled person. So it's, for me, I feel like it's a big pa package. This Ausbildung offers a lot of content because with this Ausbildung, I feel like you become a teacher, you become a nurse, you become an advisor, you become like everything. There is medicine, there is the practical life, there are like units where you learn things about nutrition, you learn about also about teaching, like the concepts of teaching people and stuff. And with this house building, you can work in a school, you can work in a hospital, you can work in home for the elderly for disabled or for also those who are not disabled also you can also work in um, 
in homes for like young people with disabilities you can work in homes for children with disabilities you can work in a kindergarten you can work in schools in all kinds of schools yeah and this house building as i said it's high etchings flege it's like special educator so there are still other house buildings you can still do and work with work in a school or in schools for children with disabilities and this is kinder flege with this you also learn the concept of taking care of children and teenagers and um, another house building which you can do is flege fachfrau with this you can work in almost all places you can work in hospitals in homes for the elderly for young people someone is asking me how do i apply for an house building you can actually find you need to find a school actually that's the first thing you need to find a school you need to find a workplace and i would encourage you to use online resources i mean i haven't really had um experience with uh, finding our spilling places but i would recommend you to check online and yeah i'll try and see if i can get links but I, for, I, um but currently i don't have any links for an house building but you can google there are people who have also gotten like through googling through checking hospitals that offer house buildings or even institutions you can use google for now but you first need to find a school and a workplace and if you get this then you can apply for wait you actually need to to re make your documents recognized you need to do the anekenu um you need to send your documents to Germany, like your KCSE certificate and any other certificate that you have, the, all the previous documents that you have. You need to send them to Germany, to the Anyakenung places. Like, for example, in Bayern, we have the Anyakenung Stelle. Um, that's the place where, like, all documents that, of the schools, the Ausbildung schools or whatever, like, all documents, they get recognized in this place. And then they will recognize your documents and tell you if you qualify to do the house building. Sometimes if you have a poor grade, they might not be able to recognize it. If you have a poor grade, then you have to do maybe the one year house building because with the one year house building, the Flege Fachfrau Assistant or the, yeah, actually that one, you don't need to in your documents to make your documents recognized. I mean, yeah, but if you if you have done done well, they will recognize your documents and they will tell you what you can be able to do. And then after getting this aniakenum is when you send it to your school, the school you have gotten. And then the school is going to maybe approve your application and send you the contract of the school or the work contract. Yeah, that's how it goes. That's how you apply. So basically it's to find the place of work and the school those are the two things that are important and the third thing is to make your documents recognized here in germany and that's a must uh, for translation you don't have to translate them first of all because the aniakenu place does not need you to do the translation maybe the schools. sometimes schools require you to translate but it's not always required it all depends so you need to find the exact into information find out what your school needs from you so that you can know what to do someone is asking hi i want to apply for apprenticeship that is ausbildung in nursing i have written and passed my duolingo test with 105 i need links for school to apply for please i need your help unfortunately i can't send any links i said i don't have any links for ausbildung but you can check on google on the hospital that you want for example you want to research nursing also by the way use chat gpt and ask what institutions are famous for hospital program by the way next time i can do the, this video by the way good idea good idea yeah so um for you to apply for an hospital first of all you don't need um the duolingo test because it's not recognized the only institution that is recognized for the exams is Gote Institute. So I would advise you to first of all write a Gote Institute exam because that's what you need while applying for an house building.
Yeah, but so this one is just for the language. You need a Gote Institute uh, exam results and not Duolingo. Yeah, so guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any question, feel free to ask. I'm going to also try and make more videos like this ones about the questions you have asked. Yeah, broaden your horizons. Until next time. Bye.